Anyway, whichever DVD player you choose, a standard upscaling to play all the, your, your old stuff you know, from the video rental store, or a high def DVD player in either Blu-ray or HD DVD, it would probably be a good time to look at the rear panel and check out what kind of outputs are on the back of your typical DVD player. Here's a typical rear panel of a DVD player. We have both video outputs and audio outputs and a cool multimedia interface that does both. Let's go ahead and start off with the video outputs here. Now, like most DVD players and video sources in general, there's that word again, source. This is a source. Stuff comes out of it. In this case, movies come out of it. The video images come out of these outputs. And that same video signal comes out any or all of these guys here. You can take the video signal out using the composite output here with a typical RCA cable, just like this. A better way to do it is to use an S video cable like this that breaks up the signal in brightness values and color values down the different pins inside here. So you can connect up on an S video cable like this and take it out S video. Even yet, component cables like this, which is three RCAs, this is where the Luma or brightness information has its own cable. That's the Y or the green jack. And then the PB and PR jacks carry this difference between the Luma and blue and red respectively. You really don't know much about, didn't need to know much about that, except you just need to plug all these guys in here. So in order of how good these outputs are is, I'll just pull these out. Yellow, composite, yuck, would never use it. Better yet, S-Video out, hmm, that's better. Component, yeah baby, that's the way to go as far as the best video only signal coming out of this box. You'll need a cable like this with three RCA jacks on either end. So you might be asking yourself if the component outputs are so good, why do they even have these old crappy ones like the single composite jack? Well, as a DVD player manufacturer, they want to be all things to all people. Imagine you wanted to connect a DVD player to that old junky 13-inch TV in the guest bedroom. And after listening to this part of the DVD, you say, well, nothing but component cable connections for me. But you know what? That decade-old little 13-inch TV doesn't have component inputs. Okay, well, S-Video. You have a look and it has no S-Video inputs. To your shock and horror, <laughs> the only available input on your little dinky 13-inch TV is composite, that solitary little yellow RCA jack. Your choice has been made for you. Some aging pieces of your home theater setup may only have certain input and output jacks. That's why the DVD player has to have them all. They don't know whether this DVD player is going to go into a state-of-the-art installation or a kid's bedroom connected to a 10-year-old junkie TV. Your job in all of this, all of this connecting, and we'll get into this far more detail later on in the putting it all together section, your job in connecting is to make the best connection that you can make, and that is the three cable component. If that's not available on the other end, then go S-Video. If not that, then the old yellow composite. And again, don't worry about how we'll connect. We'll look at that in complete detail in putting it together section of the DVD. I just want to familiarize you with these connections and what they look like uh, in each part of your home theater setup. Hi, I'm David Wells, and the clip you've just seen is just a taste of what you can find in my free mini course that teaches you the seven secrets that can help you save thousands, I mean thousands and thousands of dollars while creating your very own dream home theater. It's a really cool course that drops right into your email inbox with full length high res videos and articles, not these fuzzy little video clips that you've just seen. Uh, I've been a technical consultant to superstars like Michael Jackson, Whitney Houston, Dana Ross, and a bunch of others designing and installing video and audio environments. And I'd love to just get that same cool information into your hands that can help you build a home theater setup of your dreams within a budget that you can afford. Anyway, go to besthometheaterguide.com and sign up for the free mini course and you can get the first 
full length high res video immediately with accompanying article and I'll send the rest every few days so that you can learn at your own pace. That's besthometheaterguide.com. Sign up and I'll see you in a couple of minutes.